cottage in Glimmerbrook, which is part of the new pack, Realm of Magic, which I'm absolutely loving and obsessing over at the moment. So I'm a little late getting this, you know, upload to you guys. And don't worry, um, I've been making so much content. I have a ton of speed builds and things for you guys. But um, as you can hear in the background, probably I have a, a baby and he's um, almost two months old. He's six weeks currently. So, you know, we just kind of have to go around his schedule. And yeah, I'm going to head Go ahead and apologize if you hear any grunting or baby noises or possibly um, a very loud fart, <laughs> diarrhea sound. That is my son. Um, he's in my lap right now. We're not on the same schedule. <laughs> Usually when I'm recording, or not recording, well, yeah, recording, building, um, or editing, he's fast asleep. But when it's time for mama to sit down and do a voiceover... He's wide awake, making literally every noise in the book. So it's been really hard for me to get uh, voiceovers done. And I have so many lined up to do and I'm kind of stressing. But you know what? We're just, we're rolling with it. So if you hear any baby noises, just, yeah, this is me. This is the mom life. And uh, yeah, so take it or leave it. But hopefully he'll um, go on to sleep. But he does make some noises in his sleep. But anyways, <laughs> moving back to the speed build let me just go ahead and put my little two cents in about realm of magic game pack so honestly in the past i've never really been into supernaturals in you know past generations of the game um even with vampires in the sims 4 really wasn't a big fan of them but i will say they have more detail and i like them a whole lot more than I have in previous generations and the same kind of goes for this pack you know I was never really into the witches or anything like that but I really wanted to see this in the Sims 4 because we do have vampires and I think you know that supernatural realm and gameplay is you know ideal for a lot of people and I know a lot of people were very upset because it wasn't necessarily like supernatural with werewolves and all of that but honestly I'm not mad I will not be mad at all if they don't put werewolves or zombies in the game like they did the supernatural in the sims 3 uh just because it's not very realistic to my gameplay I, f I don't know I mean I guess witches and well, witches are actually they're real. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I don't think vampires are very realistic in my gameplay, but I'm also a very big fan of vampires as far as like the vampire diaries and the originals and stuff like that, which, you know, does include werewolves, but I guess I, they're just not, you know, my ideal supernatural creature. So I'm really glad that this is all about spell casters. And um, I'm still going to call them witches in most of these builds that I put up. They're going to be referred to witches, not spell casters. Uh, just because, I mean, it's, it's a witch. It's the same thing. <laughs> they just wanted to make up their own word for it, I guess. But anyways, yeah. So I have a few more builds coming up. And I've been having so much fun building in Glimmerbrook. I think this world is freaking beautiful. I know it's not very big um, and some people have complained about that but you know we get two worlds okay we get the the portal that leads us into the realm of magic or whatever you call it and then Glimmerbrook and I can already tell you I'm going to be building a lot of houses in Glimmerbrook even though it's kind of tucked away and secluded um, for the supernatural sims. I just I really like the scenery and how lush it is uh, so I've been having a lot of fun building in this world and I think I will continue to do so but anyway so this house right here is for um, I don't really, really know if you'd call it a current household, but I definitely decided that I wanted to do something that I don't normally do, usually because I'm so focused on my channel and building and stuff like that, especially since I was pregnant and, you know, my schedule and everything kind of changed this past year. I wasn't able to be really consistent, so there wasn't a lot of let's plays. I was mainly just doing speed builds, which I still am. Um, I wasn't really focusing a lot on gameplay especially when like the packs came out like I've dibble dabbled a little bit <laughs> and um 
like get famous but i really wanted to explore uh the magic and everything that this game pack realm of magic has to offer so i created a little current household and this is the house that i built for them so i will go ahead and tell you a little bit about that family in just a minute but their house that i'm building here is actually um obviously y'all know me i i find my inspiration from pinterest and on the internet and stuff like that so i found this house on pinterest and it's kind of like a um storybook cottage type house which is actually a thing i didn't know but it's very like whimsical and looks like it's something out of a fairy tale uh, out of a storybook and i think it's really really pretty and it blended in so nicely with this world so yeah um i'm doing the landscaping now which you know you know i like this world because it's so green and so lush i'm not worried about overdoing it with the landscaping like i usually am <laughs> but i think it turned out really really nice and i had a lot of fun doing the landscaping for this build which is a huge surprise so yeah this house is kind of small it kind of looks big on the outside but the inside of it is pretty small i think the house ended up only being 75 thousand simoleons which you know isn't a starter house by no means but it really isn't as expensive as i thought it would be but you'll see once we get to the interior um the floor plan is a little bit tinier than you ex would expect <laughs> for like looking at the outside of it but it does have two bedrooms two full bath and a half bath and you could technically probably make this house three bedroom as you'll see once we get into the interior i end up putting um one of the rooms it's kind of like separate off to the living and kitchen area um i use like two big double doors kind of to give it like this big grand feel to it but anyways it's their little magic room where they have all their potions and spells and stuff like that i you know figured they probably want to keep that away in case they have you know normal human sims <laughs> come over they probably don't want to freak them out with all their magic stuff because i know that normal sims they don't really react kindly to you practicing magic in public so yes i did hide that away in a separate room but you could probably probably use it as a master bedroom if you wanted to you know use this house add on you know grow your family whatever but anyways i love love this fence right here that came with the debug that we got in the patch i think it's like the get it's the get together fence i think but oh my gosh i'm obsessed i'm probably gonna use it a lot and i'm gonna try not to overdo it in my builds but so so cute <laughs> but anyways yeah so let me go ahead and tell you about the family that i built this house for since you know i've kind of been playing them and honestly i've been doing so much building just trying to get ahead of the game that i haven't played too much with them but i definitely plan on doing that once i catch up on you know my builds and voiceovers and things like that but anyways so i really obviously wanted to focus on the two kind of different spellcasters and aspirations that come with the game which is you know the one that's really into potions they want to know all the potions and then the other one that's more they want to learn every spell so i made two sims and the first one is actually um an aunt it's an aunt and her niece that is the little storyline i went with because if any of you have stuck around long enough or you're you know an og and you have watched any of my game, not gameplays, let's plays, you know that I really, really like to story tell. It's one of my favorite things to do when playing The Sims. You know, I don't know, it just keeps it interesting to me. You can be creative. Um, you can really touch people's hearts too. I've watched so many let's plays where I've just been like moved. Um, shout out to Janet Urban Sim. She does that to me every time. <laughs> um, but anyways, that's how I like to play in my personal gameplay too. I never just hop in with a random Sim that doesn't have like any personality or any type of backstory. So I always, always, always give them a backstory and kind of like plan their life out ahead of time. That way I kind of, you know, keep in mind where they came from and it just makes it more personal when telling the story in my head and playing the game so anyways like I said this family is 
an aunt and her niece. And so the aunt, her name is Eva Nora Stanton, and she is a witch in Glimmerbrook, and she is very big into like potions. That's the aspiration that I have her following. Um, she's pretty high on, well, she's she's an she's an she's not an elder but she's an adult so technically she would kind of be more advanced but I wanted to start at the bottom so I can experience it for what it truly is so in my gameplay she's kind of like a newbie witch but you know in my head while I'm playing it out she's more experienced and um then there is her niece and her niece's name oh my gosh what is her niece's name I didn't forgot what I named her oh my god what what did I name her niece it's Edith. I had to take a minute and pause and kind of like really think hard. <laughs> I forgot what I named her. Obviously, you can tell I've been doing nothing but building. I haven't yet really played much with them because I don't know their names, but Emma, Nora, and Edith. And Edith's last name is Stanton, too. And the reason is because her mother is Emma Nora's sister, and they were both witches. They come from a very famous you know, witch lineage in Glimmerbrook, and her mother, Edith, kind of forsake, forsaken, had forsake, had forsook, what, <laughs> her, her magic ability and her spellcasting ability for love, um, she met a normal sim, and she had to give it up, and she really wanted to be with him, and there be no, like, you know, strings attached or anything weird, so she actually made the decision to have her power taken away from her, and obviously we know that in The Sims 4 now, if you have a child by a spellcaster, they kind of have that blood, magic bloodline trait or whatever, um, so when she was born, obviously Edith was a witch, she had that bloodline in her, and her mother kept her maiden name Stanton, and she really wanted to give the last name to Edith, um, just so she, she knows who she is and where she came from. So, obviously, as kids, you know, in The Sims 4, they don't really have much of magic, but they have that, you know, bloodline, something's up, you know, she's always kind of felt like she was different, um, she never really could put her finger on what it was. Unfortunately, you know, I hate to be so tragic in all of my stories, <laughs> but her mother and father actually passed away in a car accident as soon as she turned a teenager, and the anger and the hurt and just the confusion that came with that loss is kind of what triggered uh, the magic. It kind of just it was too much for her. It, it all came flooding in off her power where she was able to use it and all these heightened emotions. She just could not control it and she knew something was wrong with her and thankfully Evanora, her aunt, came to the rescue, brought her to Glimmerbrook, moved her in and is teaching her, you know, how to control herself and how to speak spell cast uh, properly and efficiently and not be so hot-headed and, you know, evil with it because you can be good or you can be evil and it's a very fine line, especially when you are going through these emotions like Edith is. So, she has moved in with her aunt, Evanor, and this is her cottage in Glimmerbrook. So, yeah, she is single, Evanora is. Um, she never married. She's just very much into her spellcrafting and potions that she never really um, married. Uh, she did have a love in, um, when she was a teenager, but she, it just never, it never worked out. And I think it was like a really bad heartbreak for her. And she just never really let herself fall again and be vulnerable and you know, enter another relationship. So she's just been single and she has a cat. So she's like a single cat lady, which, but she's a really, really good sim. And I love her and her style. She's just very like boho -y and, you know, free spirited. And like I said, she's very much into like the potion side more than the spellcaster side. But now that Edith is moved in and, you know, learning more about magic and the realm of magic and Glimmerbrook and who she is and her family and her heritage and all of that, she is definitely more interested in becoming a spellcaster. And, um, 
yeah, so the last time I played with them, they actually traveled to the realm of magic, and, you know, she purchased a wand, and she purchased her broom, and she met all the sages, and she's kind of, you know, talking to each of the sages, and, you know, getting some knowledge from them, trying to figure out which route, you know, which school of magic that she wants to kind of participate in, um, which, you know, it's, you don't have to, you know, bind yourself to one school of magic in the sims 4 it, you can definitely you know learn about all of them which she might end up doing just because she wants to know all that there is to know so yeah she kind of just had to uproot her life leave all of her friends behind and come out to Glimmerbrook where she doesn't know anybody so it's kind of like starting from the ground up with her and you know hopefully I get attached to her and I can continue with her and maybe you guys can meet her in future let's plays I don't know that would be ideal because I definitely 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 want to do let's plays again when I'm able to on my channel when I can be a little bit more consistent. But back to the build, I'm pretty much um, over halfway done with this speed build, so I mean that's good, you know, we're not really rambling too too much, but here we are in the little half bathroom downstairs that I was talking about. I did want to include laundry because y'all know me, I like to play as realistic as possible. So I made it a half bath and then upstairs, I originally just had one bathroom up there off the master bedroom, but I ended up making the hallway smaller and adding another bathroom for Edith. So you'll see me change that floor plan up a little bit. But anyways, yes, oh, 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 okay. Let's talk about the stairs, okay, because this is my first build since we got the update with the stairs. And can we just take a second to just just look at it in all this glory? We're able to have different stairs. We can manipulate them. I mean, was not expecting that, but I'm so freaking glad. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sims team, for making this happen for us. They really do listen, you guys, so stop giving them crap. It's just going to make things so much easier for me as I copy these floor plans off Pinterest that have, you know, the L-shaped stairs that I had to manipulate my floor plans. So, um, I'm thankful. I'm very, very grateful. But, anyways, um, yeah, let's talk about the build and buy objects in this pack. Obviously, cater towards spellcasters and witches, but the style of it, so pretty. I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, I'm going to try not to you know, kind of wear myself out with all the witch stuff, but I'm, I'm digging it. I really am. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the, you know, first part of the, you know, interior where I decorated the living room and the dining and kitchen, but here we are into their little magic spellcaster room. I don't really know what you would call it, um, but yeah, like I said, you could definitely make this another bedroom if you needed to. Maybe if you wanted to download this house and not play with witches or, you know, in another house that I'm building, I put their little magic room in the basement downstairs. So, you know, you could move all this stuff out if you wanted to. But yeah, I just thought this was perfect here for Evanor. Um, she's lived here her whole life. I really wanted this house to, you know, represent that. It has, you know, um... A bunch of clutter in it and you can just tell that this woman takes her magic and spell casting and potions and you know her her bloodline very very seriously and she's very excited to share that with Edith even though she's you know very upset about the passing of her sister she she's thankful at the the opportunity to teach her niece um how powerful and great, you know, being a spellcaster really can be, which is something that her sister gave up, um, and she never really understood why, but, you know, who's she to judge? She loved her sister, and it has been hard on her, too, but thankfully, you know, she's able to control her magic, and she, like I said, is trying to teach Edith how to do the same. So, anyways, here we are upstairs. And this is the master bedroom, which is kind of small. Like I said, this house on the outside looks kind of big, but on the inside it's kind of like tight for space. But that's okay because I personally prefer houses that are tight on space rather than houses that have huge rooms and I have to fill up all the space. It just kind of gives me anxiety. Um, but yeah, this is Evan Nora's bedroom. And I really love it. I think the neutral color tone just fits her perfectly. I tried to, you know, obviously kind of have the same color scheme flow throughout the house, which I'm trying to break myself out of that, trying to get out of that box that I've 
kind of been doing in my speed builds lately. I just kind of like things to flow, but you know, that's not always realistic. And I feel like when I mix match stuff and have random weird colors here and there, it looks kind of silly. But when I watch other people do speed builds and they don't flow like that, they kind of just, you know, give each room personality. It looks so good, but when I do it, I just feel like it doesn't look right. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to break myself out of that mindset. But for this house, I definitely followed that color scheme just because of, you know, the earthy and free-spirited nature of Evan Noor and what I was trying to display in her house. So yeah, moving on, this bedroom right here is Edith's and it is super duper tiny. Uh, but I loved, love, love that little single bed and the big bed. The big canopy bed is so pretty. Um, I was going to give it to Evan Nora, but I, I don't know. I just didn't feel like it wasn't, you know, it just didn't flow with this style house and her personality. So I gave her that bed, which matches very nicely with all the stuff. So not complaining. But anyways... Edith's room is like very purple and I really think it turned out super cute. She's also a music lover. She likes to play the violin. So um, I didn't include it in the speed build but once I went in and created her and realized oh yeah I wanted her to be musically talented I added that in there. So if you download the house there will be a violin in her room but she has a little desk over here with her laptop and you know where she can learn you know about all the other supernatural uh, vampires because I think it's really cool. I want, I wish like vampires and spellcasters in The Sims 4 just naturally didn't get along like it is in like the originals and you know TV shows and stuff like that. I think that would be a really nice touch but anyways here I am putting you know some decorations and some personal touches to her bedroom and here is that bathroom I added on upstairs the hallway was actually kind of big I don't know what I would have put there in that big space so I'm glad I thought to go ahead and just give Edith a bathroom of her own so she wouldn't have to go into her aunt's you know bedroom and into her personal bathroom and invade her space like that so yeah <laughs> downstairs there was just no way I was fitting in another shower or bathtub because I really wanted to have laundry but anyways here we are doing the upstairs hallway which you know just added some pictures and some plants turned out really cute but yeah that is it this is this is my this is my build so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did it is available for a download on the gallery so you can download that all of that information is linked down below give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you haven't and with that being said I'll talk to you guys later bye